Hey guys, it's Shay. Um, so as you can already tell from the title of this <clears throat> video, um, it is going to be my 15 and pregnant story. Um, first, before I get started, I do want to say that if I'm not looking directly at you, I'm looking up here because I can see myself talk and I don't know, I just, I like to see myself talk, I don't know. So if I'm not looking at you um directly throughout this whole video that is the reason why and i also want to say this is probably going to be a long video um i'm not going to be really editing anything out because pretty much everything i'm saying is completely honest and completely true um so this video probably won't be edited at all so um because this is a serious topic <clears throat> So it's probably going to be a pretty long video, and if you don't want to sit through that, that's completely fine. But this is just my story. So first, I want to start off by saying I was 15 whenever I got pregnant. Um, it was a very hard time in my life. Um, <clears throat> I lost my mother when I was 11, 10 or 11. I lost her, and um, she passed away. So I didn't really have a mother figure in my life to kind of help me deal with what I was going through um, <clears throat> and let me say that I'm not a whore um, I, I've only had sex with one guy now that's probably you're probably like you're such a liar I'm not lying um, I really only had sex with one guy and we used protection every other time but one time we didn't and I got pregnant um, and just for your, just to let you know we are still together he is the father of my child um, currently I'm 16 I had my baby whenever I was 16 um, but I had him last June so he's just gonna be a year old which is crazy because it, it doesn't seem like it's it doesn't seem like it's been almost a year since I've had him. But um, I was, like I said, 16 whenever I gave birth. Um, I had a very difficult pregnancy. Um, you know, I was 15, and my body was still trying to grow and carry a baby, baby full term. So it was just <clears throat> one of those things that was very hard for me. Um, as far as telling my father, because I did live with my dad, um, after my mom passed away, I moved in with my dad. Um, as far as telling him, it was pretty hard. It, I was very scared. Um, my sister is actually the one who went and got me a pregnancy test. And because I woke up one morning, and I, was, I looked really pale, and I was very sick to my stomach. And she asked me if I was pregnant, and I was like, no way, I'm not pregnant. There's no way I could be pregnant. You know, I kind of felt that I was, but I didn't want to believe it. Um... And anyway, she was like, well, I'm going to buy you a pregnancy test. So I was like, okay. And then I was like, but what if I am pregnant? And she was like, we'll just get through it the best way we can. Because, you know, both of us don't have our mother. Both of us don't have a mother figure in our lives. And even though she's 25 years old, 24, 25 years old, um, it's still hard on both of us. She's married now and lives with her husband. And, you know, I'm still stuck at home because I'm only 16. But anyway... So she went and bought me a pregnancy test, and I took it. And like within 20 seconds, two lines popped up, and it was one of the it was the pregnancy test that um, the with the first response pregnancy test, which is like the best pregnancy test you can get, and it comes with two pregnancy tests in the thing in like the package, and it was twenty five dollars, I believe. <laughs> Um, but she bought it for me, and I took it. And I was sure enough, I was pregnant. I actually took both of them to be sure, and it said positive so I was like oh no I'm pregnant and you know all these things start running through your mind and if you were a teenager when you got pregnant you know what I mean but all of these things start running through your mind and you're like what am I gonna do I'm not gonna finish school I'm not gonna be able to get a job I gotta raise this baby oh me and the father are gonna stay together you know if you if you and the father were together whenever you found out you were pregnant you know it it runs, a lot of things run through your mind. You're like, oh, how am I going to tell my family? They're going to be so disappointed in me. It's just, it was a very hard time in my life. And now that I look back, I'm thankful that I was able to have my sister here with me. Luckily, she was here in town because usually she is, um, you know, she her husband is in the Air Force and they're stationed somewhere. Um, I'm not liable to give that out to you guys because that's um, personal information. But um, 
you know, her husband's in the Air Force and they are stationed somewhere. They live on base somewhere. And so, you know, luckily she was home that point in that time to help me with that. Anyway, she was the one who actually told my dad um, because number one, he was at work. And number two, I didn't know how to tell him. Sorry, I let her really chat. Um, I'm using the soft lips and cherry, if you're wondering what I'm using, um, that she actually called my dad at work. And I don't know why she called him at work. I guess so that he would have time to think about things on his way home from work because he works out of town like 45 minutes away, 30 minutes away from, sorry, that was kind of awkward, my boob was itching, um, but like 30 minutes away from where we live. So I think it was because he was going to be able to have time to kind of think about things before he actually got home. But he wasn't too happy. Oh, and to let you know, I was 15 and my boyfriend was 18. So it was very, very, very big age difference. Um, I was still a minor and he was an adult. So, I mean, it was very bad. It was bad. Um, I'm 16. He's 19 now. Um, but, you know, I was a minor. He was, a, he was an adult. So, I mean, you know where that works out. You know how that falls. You know how that works. Um, so, my dad was pretty pissed. He didn't like the fact that I was pregnant, that his little girl, his 15-year-old daughter was pregnant. Um, he didn't talk to me for at least two weeks, I think. He didn't, he didn't talk to me. And finally, my sister was like, look, you know, we got to break the silence. We got to, you know, y'all got to communicate. Y'all got to talk to each other because it's not going to change. She's pregnant, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. I mean, it happened. It's over, said, and done with now. Now we got to make the best out of it. And, you know, eventually me and my dad talked, and my dad and my boyfriend <clears throat> had a conversation. And it was very, very nerve-wracking. I was very scared <clears throat> at what he might say to him. But um, he basically just told him, you know, as long as you put Shay, which is my name, of course, <laughs> as long as you put Shay and the baby first, um, I won't have a problem with you at all. So he was like, okay, you know, obviously he's put me and my child first ever since I gave birth. Um, but, you know, it was a very difficult time in my life. And, you know, whenever you find out you're pregnant, especially at a young, young age and you're not married, all these things start running through your mind, like I said before, you know. But then you start thinking of abortion. Then you start thinking of adoption. Then you think, oh, well, you know, I'm going to keep it. Well, then, you know... At first, abortion ran through my mind. You know, I'm not that far along. I can have abortion now, and it won't won't hurt anything. Um, but then I was thinking, why would I kill an innocent human human being for my own stupid mistakes? Even though, you know, in my opinion, a baby is a human being when the heart is beating. That is a human to me. And, you know, three days after conception, you know, after, you know, you have sex um, and, you know, if you get pregnant or whatever, three days after that, the baby forms a heartbeat. And in my opinion, that is a human being. I'm not a murderer. I'm not going to kill a baby, you know, just for my own stupid mistakes. So I was like, abortion's out of the question. Then I thought about adoption. But then I was thinking, you know, I'm going to carry this baby full term. I'm going to have him, he or she. At that time, I didn't know it was a he, and I did have a little boy. Um... But at that time, I was like, I'm going to carry this baby full term. I'm going to have it. And, you know, if I'm going to carry this baby nine months, by golly, I'm going to keep this child. I just carried a baby full term. It's 15, 15, 16 years old. I carried a baby full term. Nine months, I carried a child in my belly. I had that child with no pain medicine, all natural, you know, but delivery is a totally different story. Make a long story short about that. My epidural, I did get an epidural, but it did not work. Um, I felt everything down there. Um, but anyway, um, so adoption was out of the question. So, and plus, you know, it was kind of sweet because my dad didn't want me to have an abortion and he didn't want me to have an adoption. In my opinion, and I will stand by this for the rest of my life. If you're older, if you're old enough to have sex, especially non-protected sex, you are old enough to raise a baby. You are old enough to take care of a baby, and you are old enough to carry a baby full term. That is my opinion. You know, I made a mistake. I admit that. And I, you know, a year ago, 
I would have never thought my life would be the way it is now. Um, but it is. And you know, everything happens for a reason. Whether you want to believe it or not, everything happens for a reason. God makes no mistakes. And if he's wanting you, if he wants you to have a little boy or a little girl, then you're going to have one. Um, you know, I was... I, and, you know, during my pregnancy, I really didn't have any contact with any of my friends. Um, thank goodness I didn't, you know, because you know, we have a local high school. But we also have a local night school, which if you don't know what that is, um, it's the, the night school is basically is the same thing as going to high school, except you go at night. So it's kind of like college, not college classes or whatever. Um, it's the same thing as high school but you go like in my case I went from four to nine so I went five hours a day but we get Friday off and regular high school doesn't get Friday off but that was the only good thing about it um and sleeping in was the only good thing that came from that otherwise I would have much rather stayed in high school but luckily I had already transferred um to night school before I got pregnant, so I didn't really have to worry with it. But I didn't really keep in contact with any of my friends, and if any of you guys are watching this, I apologize for that. Um, it was just a very, very, very difficult time in my life. I had a lot on my shoulders. You know, I didn't know if I was going to be able to take care of this baby like he or she needed, and I didn't know... I didn't know if I was even going to be able to do it myself. I didn't know if me and my boyfriend were going to stay together um, or anything like that. I just... I didn't know if if that was my plan or not. I didn't. I had no clue what was going to happen. I, you know, I was 15 years old. I was naive. I was stupid. I thought I knew it all. I thought that oh well, this one time isn't. It's not. It's not going to hurt anything. Well, it did, and I got pregnant. And when I found out I was pregnant, I was eight weeks pregnant. Um, but you know. If you're if you're struggling right now and you are pregnant um, and you're a teenager or whatever and you have no one to turn to, um, feel free to message me on here. I will reply back to you. Um, you know I don't have many subscribers. I think I have like what three or four subscribers, and that's family members. <laughs> so and then there's one guru that subscribed to me and she's she's cool, but. You know, I don't have many subscribers, so, you know, I did this to get my story out there to tell you guys what I went through and to let you know that if you are 15 and pregnant or 16 or 17 and pregnant, you're not alone. I've been through it too. I just might be a little bit younger than others. And, you know, like I say to everybody, I'm just like everyone else, just my license, my diploma and stuff like that. That all comes a little bit later for me. Um... After all, I did have a kid. And I am a stay-at-home mom. I take care of my child 24-7. My boyfriend works Monday through Friday. Um, currently, he is out of town on a job. He does construction. So, um, if any of you know about construction, you would know why he, like, is out of town on job leave. Um, so, he works Monday through Friday. And whenever he's out of town, he can be gone for a month or two. Or he could be gone three days. It just all depends on what they're actually doing but like I said, he works Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday, I'm home 24-7 taking care of my baby. Um, and he comes home, and I don't really ask him to do much because um, he is tired. He worked 12-hour shift. I'm not going to pressure him into helping me because he's tired. It's, he needs to get his rest. He just worked 12 hours. Um, so Monday through Friday, I'm a stay-at-home mom. And then Saturday and Sunday, I get lots of help from my boyfriend and my dad. Um, because my dad also works Monday through Friday, like an eight hour shift, I think. Um, so when he comes home, he's pretty beat too. So, I mean, you know, it all balances out on the weekends because I get a break on the weekends. I'm pretty much able to do, um, whatever I want to in the house. Um, like whether it be watch TV or make YouTube videos or whatever, I'm pretty much able to do anything of that. Anything like that. Um, the reason I'm able to make this video now is because my little boy's actually taking a nap. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get my story out there and let you guys know that you're not alone. Um, and if you guys are pregnant and 15 and pregnant or 16, 17, like I said, feel free to message me on here. I promise I won't turn my back on you guys. Um, 
we're all the same in our own little way. So um, keep that in mind. Like I said, I'm always here for you. If you need someone to talk to, message me on here. I'll always reply back. I promise I will always reply back. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you want to meet my little boy, please thumbs this video up and subscribe to my channel. Um, and I will be sure to make a video with him in it. Um, he is the sweetest little boy ever. He is nine months old. Fits in to be ten months old the 15th of April. So time is going by so fast. In two less about two months, he will be a year old, which is crazy. But anyways, if you want to see more of him and you do want to see him, please like up this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to making more videos about mommy stuff and all that fun stuff. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Bye.